Hi, we are Juan Felipe Blanco, Daniel Correal, Santiago Ramirez, and Santiago Rodriguez, and this is our laboratory practice project. Our laboratory took place in the red building of the Gymnasio Compestria. The experiment was about analyzing what kind of organisms do the pond water have. Obviously, for making our project, we need some materials, like a sample tube, a microscope, two kind of glass sheets, a bigger one, and a really, really small one, and a pipette. We took the water samples from the left corner of the soccer court of the Gimnasio Compestre. Unfortunately, there was not any kind of organism in the water sample. So, we had to try with water and soil that we took from the pots of the building and we found that in that water sample there was nothing. So, we had to try with another water sample that we find on banderas. Then, in the microscope, we tried with the red one, trying to search for any kind of microorganisms we might find. Unfortunately, our sample waters were not very good and we can't find anything of microorganisms that were living on that water samples. So, after a lot of effort, we asked Pachita and Diego Parra to help us with those water samples. So, they give us some, some water from the other groups and we look at it, but we didn't see anything at all. So, we have to tell Diego Parra if they can help us. And, we, and he either can't find anything at all. Then we pass it to the yellow one trying to search for something that we didn't find in the red one. In this case we did found something. We thought and we asked Pachito and he told us it was a guy. So this was the first thing we saw in the whole laboratory. When we passed to the blue one, that's the most powerful one, we saw like a kind of tongues that were from zooplankton. Describe how the organism that you observed in number 6 above moved. Be detailed in your description. Include any structures. We found phytoplankton in the water samples that we studied. Phytoplankton is a primary producer as they are capable of converting light energy into chemical energy by a process called photosynthesis. They are called primary producers because the energy they produce is used by other organisms to create new BMS. In class, we discuss the importance of the microorganisms in ecology, describe the importance of the microorganisms, including bacteria, and what would happen if all the microorganisms would suddenly disappear from a pond. Microorganisms are in general very important in any environment as they affect metabolic activities in it and their associations with plants and animals are crucial for a number of essential activities for life. Bacteria are decomposers, which mean that when an organism dies, it breaks it and recycles in nutrients like nitrogen, which is then available for primary producers, plants, to use and to be able to produce oxygen. Without oxygen, most of the living organisms would not survive for a prolonged period. Bacteria are also important for animals as they make it possible for them to use cellulose and process other food. If microorganisms disappear from a pond or any other environment, none of the above mentioned process could be completed. Algae could not produce oxygen, or organic matter could not be decomposed, and the whole food chain would be affected. Give an example of a primary producer that we observe in the pond water. What does it do to be called primary producer? 
We found phytoplankton in the water samples that we studied. Phytoplankton is a primary producer as they are capable of converting light energy into chemical energy by a process called photosynthesis. They are called primary producers because the energy they produce is used by other organisms to create new biomass.